Hey everybody, so today we're gonna look at a little bit of this aftermath. Uh, this is bad folks, real bad. And from what I understand, it's worse in North Carolina. Um, I don't know how comfortable I am going out on this bridge, although I just did drive over it. Uh, if the good Lord wants me, I guess he's gonna take me. But I'm gonna show the before videos of this, and then I'm gonna show you the now video and, and this is just unbelievable. So, you can see they won't allow anybody down there. Um, apparently, it's even worse under the bridge. But this was all covered with trees and everything else. Of course, there was the gate was up there, across there. You could see the just the sheer damage. I mean, it, it really stripped that apart. Now I'm going to go across and look at the other side here in a second. The water levels come back down a lot, but I'm actually kind of shocked that they opened this bridge up. You can see they opened it up to traffic again. Um, just insane. So here's the other side where that road comes out. You can see, I mean, the road's all but gone there and completely gone. It went down to there and then turned and actually ran down into those rocks. Um, yeah, that's all gone. Uh, the little island that was there um, is gone. It might come back a little bit, but I mean, there's no trees. All the trees are gone. You can see how it ripped that bank over there. It's pure devastation. Just shows you what water can do. Now, if I didn't mention, this is the Nola Chucky River. And uh, wow, that bridge is really bouncing when that truck went over. We're gonna get off of here and uh, go, unfortunately, look at more devastation. Uh, we're going to take another look at the Nola Chucky here where it uh, goes under the Newport Highway. Um, just so you understand, like, at least so far in this video, what I'm showing is, is like literally just the tip of the devastation. Um, of course, I'm not going to drive into any of the really ravaged areas. Um, you know, there's still rescue efforts going on. I don't want to be in, any, in anyone's road. I also don't want to risk my own life. Um, so, please keep these people in your prayers. Unbelievable. Now this is another bridge that I'm on that was closed yesterday. Take a look at the other side here. Just crazy. So I had a video of the uh, French Broad, a little piece of the video of the French Broad River last time. An updated view of it. Still really high on that bridge. So you'll have to excuse me for not knowing what road I'm on, but we are uh, 
still here along the French Broad River. And you're going to see that you can see the chunks of black top guardrail swallowed up. You can see how it was ripped up here. And pretty much the road's gone. Once you get to this point, I'm not going to go venturing out there. But you can see the road on the other side there. Completely insane. This is just down from the bridge on the Newport Highway. So here in Newport. So just so you know, this mud is like miserable to walk through. Miserable, miserable. Slippy. Almost as bad as walking in ice, to be honest with you. fruit jar alley we've done a video there that place is a mess the whole downtown here is quite honestly a huge mess um, you're gonna get to see a little bit more of it here very shortly the resurrection boxing club you can see that's been destroyed uh, flatwood vintage we've done a video there um, they have a lot of their stuff out here still have that section closed off so a lot of a mess now we're going to attempt to get back to the car without getting too muddy and a little look at the pigeon river here try to get to where we were the other day I don't know if we can or not now some of this is where we were yesterday a lot of loss shame and it went right through that house now I'm not going out on those because I don't know how bad it might be washed out underneath I didn't tell that water was up this high 